Hello, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Front Mission. Alright, so we are back on the OCU side, and I looked over at the timeline, and we're going to spend a lot of time on the OCU side before we get back to the USN side. Uh, all that time that Kevin spends cooling his heels in uh, jail, uh, the Canyon Crows are busy, busy fighting. Uh, so we're going to check out everything that happens between now and then. Uh, and we're going to have some front mission stuff interspersed in between, or sorry, front mission five stuff interspersed in between uh, the OCU missions. So we'll be able to see uh, during that period what was happening to some extent over on the USN side of things. Uh, even though Kevin uh, is in jail for most of this period while uh, the final push against Fort Monus is underway. All right, so we have um, we've made it to the forward base uh, and we have orders to go and uh, move out against Morgan Fortress. Uh, so we can go back to the military ward, see what they say. Hang on, I need to adjust this. All right, let's get going. Uh, actually, if you talk to the shopkeep here, he does say uh, something about... Ooh. I wonder what that is. Yeah, so... Uh, basically did some equipment revamps. Um mainly focused on getting my missile units all sorted out because we're going to need them in the upcoming mission. Not this one, but the next one. All right, so let's go and move out. Okay. So we're going to go just outside of the front base here and go after this deserter. Alright, so it looks like someone is fleeing the Nirvana Institute, someone related to Meihua, uh, and Driscoll is in pursuit. So, um, it's important to note that the OCU campaign uh, actually, you know, was the original campaign in the, in the Super Nintendo game. Uh, so all the stuff that we saw on Kevin's side about the Nirvana Institute, if you had just been playing straight through the OCU campaign, you wouldn't have seen any of that. So a lot more, it would have been kind of like a new and interesting bit of story instead of something like, oh, well, we've been there and done that. We know what that's all about. Anyway, let's uh, see what we're doing here. So, um... Keith, uh, we will deploy Keith. I don't see why not. Um, we will deploy... We have 10 units to deploy this time, so that's a much more substantial. Uh, so we're going to deploy all of our missile units. Uh, that's this one as well. And... Okay, so that's all the missile units. Now, uh, we want to deploy... Uh, deep boy, uh, Bobby. We got him in the, uh, mobile weapon we just picked up. Uh, and you're okay on levels. Who else could... Oh, Paul. Oops, nope. Uh, Frederick's in there. JJ, we don't need to deploy. Uh, she's not even suited up. Um, so I guess we'll send out Yuji. Uh, and we'll send out you, and we'll send out you. 
Okay, so everybody except for uh, JJ and Natalie is going out to fight. Some of my units are higher um, equipment level than others, but I think we'll be fine. This is not a terribly difficult mission. Alright, so, um, yeah, one of the, obviously, the noteworthy things about the OCU side of uh, this game is that you have very large uh, units that you can deploy, um, which was continued in Front Mission 2, but not in any of the subsequent games. Uh, the USN campaign with your very small number of units is much more like the games after Front Mission 2. Um, alright, so we need to split into two units, um, I just want to check, make sure, no, there's no secret items we need to pick up, so that's not a concern, uh, we just kind of get out there and fight, um, okay, so obviously, as usual, we're going to move our mobile weapons first, we can go to the top of the map, and the Gloucester can go down to the bottom. Uh, and then Harunga uh, let's see which of these sides has more level terrain. None of it really but I guess I might be a little bit better off going this way. Okay. Um, Royd can take the bottom, uh, UG can go up top, uh, Keith can go up top, uh, Frederick also go up top. And then you go bottom, and you go bottom, and you can go. Oh, well, we have one melee guy going top already, but let's send you up top too. Okay, and we'll just move this guy up here. So we can put a name to a voice. It is Yihin, Meihua's brother, I believe, right? Uh, we mentioned, we saw him mentioned in Greyrock when we first had her join our party. So is this a dead end? I wonder if I can even get through there. All right. Um, so Yuji can continue to lead the charge here. Uh, no targets, okay. Let's go. doesn't really matter if Royd is behind because he's so overleveled.
Let's go. That's more like it. There we go. Good job. Ha ha ha! Yuji's too strong! That's what I like to see. Was still a good try.
We should probably focus on a commander here. Nice. All right. Now, there was a case to be made that I should hit another unit because I used uh, smoke against the commander. However, um, I just kind of wanted to get him out of the way. Uh, he was the most likely to hit Yihin. Defend your brother! Yeah! Some chaff. Alright, let's get the mobile weapon in there. Enemy's closed with us now. Uh, so we need to move Meihua out of the way. get her two out front, so... Now let's use the mobile weapon to finish this guy off. Goodbye. I guess I'm gonna repair with this guy right now. Maybe move up a little bit. finish that guy off with a UG. We'd be better served. Or we'd be better served putting his damage somewhere else. Here. Let's see if we can finish this guy off.
Nice. Just tearing through these guys. That's what I want to see. have a weapon that she can switch out at the moment. any of them here. I think Roy really needs to get any kills here. It doesn't... not really necessary. Aww. UG goes in, takes this guy out. that guy or we could take that out I mean he's pretty much dead anyway so might as well attack the fresh unit leveled.
is right. Yeah. You don't need the kill. And how are you doing for levels? You're at 18, so you're still okay. She got a level, that's good. Let's see if we can get Keith a level here. No level, but at least you got some experience. And I think we just have to take out this truck. Bad things happen to prisoners of war. We've seen that in Front Mission 5. Alright, so we're heading back to the uh, frontline base. base I should say um, and let's just go to the military ward and see what's up I wonder who that might be. So as we saw on the USN side of things, uh, Driscoll is looking to collect the members of the Canyon Crows to use as B device uh, materials. And uh, this is just, you know, uh, confirming the connection between the USN side and the OCU side of the story. Uh, so um, we're done for this video. And next one is a famous mission from this game. It is the Morgan Fortress, the assault on the Morgan Fortress. Maybe one of the last difficult missions in this game. Uh, and we will give it a shot. I think we're pretty well equipped to do it. So uh, we'll see how it all pans out next time. I will see you then.